Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice logarithmic equation. We have log base 5 of x and log base 6 of x plus 1, and they're equal. And we're going to be looking for the x values. I know x is kind of obvious, but is that the only solution? Can we find other solutions? And can you do something besides guessing? All right, uh, it still comes down to sometimes guess and check, but you know, sometimes um, an analytical approach, somewhat analytical approach would be helpful. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The bases are different, so I'm kind of stuck in that sense. If I had a 5 and a 25, I could turn them into the same base easily. Can I use change of base? Let's try it. So let's use Ln on both sides. Uh-oh. And this is kind of like a weird... I don't know why that's happening. So let's go ahead and write this as ln x over ln 5 and write this as ln x plus 1 over ln 6. Okay? So from here, what am I getting? All right, so not much, right? Well, we're getting ln x and ln x plus 1. Well, we can kind of put them on the same side, like ln x plus 1 over ln x equals ln 6 over ln 5. And by doing one-to-one -one correspondence, yeah, you can find the x value, so on and so forth. Okay, fine, but is, is there another value? Let's go ahead and make sure we uh, eliminate all the other possibilities or find other solutions. So let's go ahead and take a look at this from another perspective. So from here, yes, you can definitely one-to-one -one correspondence. I got the x value, right? Okay, so he here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set both of these equal to y. Any variable will do. And then from here, I'm going to get a system of equations. Log base 5 of x equals y, and then log base 6 of x plus 1 equals y. They're equal to the same thing. A lot of times we try to <laughs> eliminate one of the variables, but in this uh, case, it's going to be helpful. So from here, we can use the definition of logs or do 5 to the power both sides. No matter what you do, I like the definition, kind of going across the equal sign and coming back at x. Make sense? That's how logs work. Very easy. I don't know who taught me this property, but when, I, when they did it, it's like, this makes so much sense. So 5 to the power y equals x. Nice. Same idea, 6 to the power y equals x plus 1. Awesome. So what is so awesome about it? We still got a system with two variables and two equations, but we can do substitution now. It is amazing. Why? Because x is the same as 5 to the y, so I can go ahead and plug it in, right? Yay, let's do it. So this gives us 6 to the power y equals x, which is 5 to the y, plus 1. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, this is way too easy. Why are we doing this? It's a waste of time. It's not a waste of time for those who are learning to work with exponents, functions, derivatives, so on and so forth. So many things are involved. Anyways, so at this point, yes, it's okay to guess, and I'm pretty sure you guess y equals 1 is a valid solution, right? But what else can we do? So we can look at a couple of things. One of the things that I'm going to do is, and we've done quite a few problems of this kind, sort of, where we have something like 3 to the x plus 4 to the x is 7 to the x, you know, 3 to the x plus 4 to the x equals 7, so on and so forth. These problems are very similar, and the idea is similar behind these, especially for the first one. Dividing both sides by the highest base. In this case, it happens to be 6, so we're going to divide both sides by 6 to the power y. Let's divide by 6 to the y. Let's divide by 6 to the y. So it's going to look like this. 6 to the y divided by 6 to the y is 1. This can be written as 5 over 6 to the power y, and this can be written as 1 over 6 to the y. Great. Uh, I'm going to make it a little greater. Let's make it nicer by writing, uh, because 1 can be written as 1 to the power y, I can also write it as 1 over 6 to the power y. Now, why? Okay, that's the WHY. Why is this important? Because if you think about it, 5, 6 plus 1, 6 equals 1, right? Those are two fractions that are, add up to 1. So y equals 1 is a natural consequence. Okay, great. So we can see that clearly, hopefully. But uh, what else do we have? Uh, we want to look at it from another perspective. Why is there only one solution? Or is there only one solution? Right? That's the question. To be or not to be. So now... We're going to look at the, both of these sides, but first of all, this one. Suppose we have the following function, f of t equals 5 over 6 to the power t 
plus 1 over 6 to the power t. And why am I using t here? Because y, I want the y to be a constant value. In this case, y equals 1. And I want to define my function in the general case. Uh, so f of y is what I get from here. So f of y equals 1. Make sense? Okay. What do you see on the right-hand side? This is an exponential function with a base less than 1. It's positive, but less than 1. By the way, you don't want the base to be negative. That's problematic. And this is also the same. So we have two decreasing functions. Notice that as t increases, 5 over 6 to the power of t decreases because you're multiplying fractions less than 1 by each other, and the answer is going to get smaller. Like, think about it. Like, you have a pizza. You take 5 6 of the pizza, and then the 5 6 of what is left. Not what is left. What is, yes, what is left, and then 5 6 of that, and so on and so forth. Eventually, you're supposed to reach 0 pizza, right? Hopefully not, but you can get another one. So, what is that supposed to mean? We get a decreasing function equals to a constant value. That indicates the following. There's only one answer because a decreasing function is just going to go down all the time and a horizontal line it can only intersect at one point as opposed to a function that's kind of wavy can intersect more than once. Make sense? But this is definitely going to be one solution. The second one, we don't know. That's why we kind of have to look at the derivative options as well. So that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is keeping the exponential function uh, original. So like 6 to the y equals 5 to the power y plus 1. And then kind of subtract these two things. 6 to the y minus 5 to the y equals 1. And then you can kind of look at the de derivatives. Uh, this is supposed to be an increasing function or a decreasing function. Please comment down below. But you could also look at other things. And before we look at the graph, I'm going to show you two graphs, by the way. And one of them is going to be with the log. So you can also look at it this way. You can look at the graph of this and the graph of this and then conclude uh, what happens between them. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs and then we're going to finish up. But wait a minute, did we find the answer? Nope, we didn't. We just said there's only one solution and that is y equals 1. But what is x? What is y in first place, right? Y is, okay, let's go back here. Y is this number here, the exponent. So x equals 5 to the power y. Let's go ahead and write that down. x equals 5 to the power y, and we found y equals 1. That means x equals 5. And obviously, that wouldn't be too hard to guess, given the original problem, because if you think about it, if x is 5, then you have log 5, base 5, and log 6, base 6. Of course, they're both equal to 1. Make sense? Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we'll just finish up two graphs. The first one is our decreasing function. As you can see, it's going down. It's going to intersect the horizontal line y equals 1 at one point. Therefore, x equals 1 is the only solution that's unique. And the second graph I wanted to show you is the logs. And as you can see here, the, the blue graph is above. They intersect, and then the orange one is going to be above because it is going to grow a little faster. And the reason it grows faster is instead of x plus 1, it has x, and the base is smaller and uh, so on and so forth. Anyways, I didn't really explain that very clearly, but you hopefully get the idea. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Let's just say next time. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.